leading, leading off, off the wins. inning. Choi, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Well, this has been a great game so far, and they're only down by one. So getting this leadoff guy on would be huge for them. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Hit on the ground to short. Iglesias is up with it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Brian Dozier stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Robertson's ready. First pitch on its way. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Too high. One and two. Well, that's a good thing that pitch was above the strike zone because a few inches lower, and that ball's right in his wheelhouse. Ready on one and two. Hit to short. Iglesias is there. Throw on to first. He'll get him, and the Twins are now down to their final out. Yeah, two ground ball outs right here to start the ninth. That's as easy as you can make it. Now he's just one out away from picking up the save. Eddie Rosario digs in now after lining out in his last try. Yeah, he put a good swing on it last time, so we'll see if he can make one fall here. Nick Gordon will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number five, Nick Gordon. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first on his way to second now. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he will make it there. He's in as the tying run after the two-out triple. The well, it's not a game-tying home run, but it's the next Danny best thing. Santana. As down by one, he makes it all the way to third here with a triple. Stepping in now, Danny Santana. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. And he falls behind 0-2. And, and now this crowd right around 34,000 fans comes to their feet. Bounce up the middle. And this is a base hit as they've come back to tie it here on the top of the ninth. You're going to have to calm him down at first base. Look how fired up he is. That's a big base hit. That single drives in the tying run. And it looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw in the Tiger bullpen. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Oh, 1 here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ghost moving to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So not a good turn of events for this home crowd as now their ninth inning lead has evaporated. 
Bottom part of the order, 7, 8, and 9 due up in the bottom of inning number 9. You're Nick Gordon please. will stick around as this he'll take over in right playing. field. Now playing right field, number 5. Jose Iglesias Nick stands in. He Gordon. got under one and popped out his last time up. Max Kepler is into the game as a defensive replacement now as he takes over in right. Right field, number 67, Max Kepler. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0-1. Sent on the ground out to second. Gordon is up with it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The catcher, number 34. Ray Cortez will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Cortez. in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and And that fastball his definitely catches your attention, especially when it's on the inner half. That evens it up, 1-1. One and one. And he comes back with a fastball, 1-2 and two now. And now he's made most of the hitters inside conscious. And, of course, that opens up the outside corner when he has to go there. Still one and two as he fouls it away. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air to left field. Santana on the move. He can't get there as it falls in. And he will make it into second base as the winning run is in scoring position now with only one away. Oh, what a swing there. Now you've got the winning run at second base. So with one away, now defensively, it's going to have to be all hands on deck if they want to get this thing to a 10th inning. Ian Kinsler will stand in now, hitless to this point, but with a chance to be a hero here. Well, he knows better than anybody in that lineup that one swing could make up for a whole game's worth of struggle. Nope, that's a ball. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's 1-0. and oh. And now the wheels spin in that first base dugout. Oh, that man right there has got to be sweating bullets. Hard to say I blame him at all. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up with 1-1. One and one. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. Has to be thinking strikeout here. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. Center fielder, Anthony 12. Ghost strides Anthony. into the box now with a oh. shot to bring in the winning run. But the question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Yeah, you know, with that base open, I'd at least expect him to work around him and maybe hope he chases some bad pitches. You got to love the strategy that comes into play in these situations. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. And he's really going to have to fight now. you got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So they can't get that winning run home, and that means free baseball here this afternoon. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the 10th. 
And we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Ray Cortez will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Ray Cortez. Jordan Walden will come on now as he'll take over to start the extra frames. Jordan Walden. Jorge Polanco will come on now to start things out in the 10th. And you have to figure the momentum is squirreling on their side after the manner in which that ninth inning went down. Yeah, just a great comeback to tie the game in the top of the ninth, followed by putting up a zero in the bottom half. This is a ball club that just won't quit out there, and they're going to keep fighting until the last out. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Upton's under it. One out. Up next for the Twins, the designated hitter, Mark Trumbo. Settling in now, Mark Trumbo. He singled his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes this the other way to right. Martinez is there. Two down. Well, this ball was now hit pretty batting. hard, and he's just Number hoping to get on bases the go-ahead run. But it kind of hangs up there a little bit too long, and it finds the outfielder's glove. Park is in with two away as he takes a ball. One and oh. If there's one guy on this roster that wants the ball in a moment like this, this is the guy. Up top, it's 2-0. Two, oh. two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally, this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. 2-1. Two one here it is. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Alvarez is going to get there, and the inning is over. Down go the Twins in order. Still all square. Justin Upton will step in. A ground out victim his Leading last time. Left fielder, First Justin delivery to him Upton. on the way. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And this is through in the left. And there's your possible winning run aboard on the leadoff single. He is fired up as he heads down to first base. He is now the go-ahead run, looking to put his team ahead. Pat Light will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Pat Light. Here's J.D. Martinez. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. A look at the hit totals there into extra innings. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine, but you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. Pedro Alvarez steps in after hitting an RBI single his last time around. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he takes a cold strike. 0-1. And, and you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful oh, not to said. fall too far behind. Back in standing. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And, yeah, and it doesn't look like he's trying to get a ground ball here. He's coming right after him trying to get a punch out. 
struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. And that changeup's not really a pitch you can sit on with two strikes. Because if he gives you that fastball, you'll be an hour late on it. That's a great job of not showing that pitch until he was ready to punch him out. Standing in now, Steven Moya. And the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. Tigers leave one. Score remains tied at four. Willie Rosario comes to the plate as the leadoff man here in the 11th inning. Well, you know he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. And this will be handled by Kinsler for route number one. The Boy, he had to go a long number way one into one. the outfield to make this play. I kept thinking he was going to get called off, but he must have kept shouting for it. So he stays with it and pulls it in. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. Bases are empty. One man out. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Striding into the box, Max Kepler. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And every pitch so crucial in a tie ball game, so he'll step out and ask for time. Swing and a high pop-up. Could be tough back behind third. Jones is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Twins are set down one, two, three. This game. Jones brings his back to the plate now to get the Leading bottom of the, the 11th underway. Third baseman, number 14. From the stretch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Now the question becomes, with the winning run on first, will they decide to play a little National League style ball and bunt him up to second? At this point in the ball game, I think it's a definite possibility. Jose Iglesias strides in, grounded out his last time through. And now with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. And he'll get back in standing. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see, and he was right on that one. Ray Cortez will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. As a hitter here, you've got to make him get the ball up. You don't go swinging at pitches that are down in the zone and more likely to turn into double play ball. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Now, he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. And he fights him off here to foul this one over toward the right side, and it'll remain 0-2. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Mm. 
he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. Shot fouled at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And really, all you were hoping for at the plate was to at least get that winning run to third with one out. Instead, this becomes a badly wasted at bat. Ian Kinsler will stand in now in what could be one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game. And what he has to do right here is put his 0 for 4 out of his mind. He hasn't had the greatest of performances to this point in the game, but he could make up for it with a big hit right here. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. 0-2, you got to shorten up. Find some way at least to put the ball in play. You can't afford a strikeout here with an important run out there at second base. 0-2 is a fastball that misses inside. 1-2 and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches. But now on 2-2, two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. And he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. Anthony goes ready to take another shot. Went down on strikes his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. And sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. On, could we see another strikeout here? It's 0-2 now. They were in good shape with the first two on to start the inning, but the rally definitely stalled out from there. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. and two. I think he was trying to get that slider in on his hands, but I don't think he meant for it to get in that far. I think he just released it a little too late. Hit down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. The one and two pitch. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. This is lined in the left field, and it's going to fall for a base hit. And they've come back to win it here in 11 innings. Well, you had the sense early on that this one was destined to go down to the wire. And sure enough, these guys are going to pull this one out here in walk-off fashion. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he was a thorn in their side all game long. You'll see there, he winds up with a three-hit ball game, and 